night saying we've done something wonderful that's what matters the most to me steve jobs as quoted in the wall street journal do you all see the vision in the quote that i just shared with you i can give you all an example of myself oh by the way i'm stephanie rose now let's dive into my personal experience i had once faced a challenge and that challenge was not accepting the fact that I was not always putting myself first in situations. These situations would be relationships I had with certain friends. I would always consider their feelings to be bigger than mine. I would feel so guilty or dramatic for not putting them first. I then realized that I was not putting myself first when I started isolating other stuff like school. I was facing a big challenge. So going to bed knowing that you've done something wonderful is what matters the most. And this wonderful thing is overcoming challenges. Now I can take a look at all of you. What a beautiful crowd I have in front of me. And I can tell you that I've done something wonderful. And that was overcoming that challenge. I can now go to bed knowing, knowing that I've done something wonderful for myself. How? Overcoming challenges is something that helps you grow as an individual. From overcoming challenges, you can have a good mindset. We all face different and difficult challenges. Now let's look at what helped me overcome challenges and that can help you overcome challenges. I'd like to present a step-to-step -step guide to overcoming challenges that you are facing. Number one, question your purpose. Who am I? Do I value myself? Do I treat myself with the love and respect I truly deserve? Questioning your purpose is a divine thing to do. It helps you open your eyes to see unnoticeable stuff. It makes you reflect on your values, who you are in life, your desires, and the face you put on. Ask yourself, are you doing something because you're put up with who you are, or are you doing it because of the pressure? Or am I going to be happy in 10 years when I look back to myself and see what I was facing? Once you start questioning your purpose, you start to see growth in yourself, a better mindset, and all you are filled with is nothing but positivity. Never let a challenge break you. Every obstacle is an opportunity to grow. We move on to my second guide, which is seeing failure as an opportunity. Allow failure. Allow new beginnings in your life. You don't have to give up just because you keep on losing. A quote my mother had once mentioned to me and my siblings. I can give you all an example of myself. I had made very bad decisions and I looked down at myself. Now what did I do to get back up? I sat myself down and I reflected on my actions. It's just like you're learning a new hobby. For example, learning how to play football. Skilled football players saw failure as an opportunity. How? When they failed to trap a ball or score a goal, they kept on practicing. And from that, they saw failure as an opportunity as a result. So even yourself as an individual, you can see failure as an opportunity while you overcome your challenges. Keep swimming, a quote from Finding Dory. Keep standing up every time you fall. Next is my third guide, which is stop procrastinating. Stop delaying or postponing tasks that need to be done. Start now, not tomorrow, not next week, now. 
The thing with leaving stuff to be done at a late hour, it causes you to stress, it makes you panic, and it makes you unprepared. It's the same thing with waiting to overcome a challenge. It causes you to stress, it makes you panic, and it makes you unprepared. Don't wait to overcome a challenge. Start by overcoming your challenges now, not tomorrow, not even until you see the brightest star. A small step forward always brings you closer to your goals. Which brings me to my last guide, which is about setting small achievable goals. I can ask you, what is of highest priority to you as of right now? Is it overcoming academic or career setback? When you're setting your small achievable goals, it's important to balance your goals and reality. Ensure your goals are manageable, clear, and specific. Goals like improving your grades, aiming for a 90 to 100%, or getting employee of the month. These goals challenge you to step out of your comfort zone and develop abilities that you currently lack. You can use the SMART framework, which is S for specific, M for measurable, A for achievable, R for relevant, and T for time bound to outline your goals. Now, as I end, I would like to let all of you know that while you overcome your challenges, have a little time to recognize yourself. Celebrate your progress. Celebrate the small achievements along your journey. Remember, it's never too late to try something out. Thank you. <laughs>